Hey, this is Kim K. Spear with a quick tip for you. I like to use markers for my value study. I don't like pencil because it's, it's just a little bit sketchy. And so I have found that the markers give you a really true sense of the value in your value study. Um, so I have uh, design markers for the black one, a black one with a small tip and a wide tip and a 70% and a 50% and a 30%. And they all have the small tip and the wide tip so that you can draw with them, but you can also create large blocks of color with them. So a little note about my, uh, my process. This is an ideal process that I really like to use. I would go outside and create a plein air study, a color study outdoors and that is what this color study is. And then I would also bring reference material inside, bring some photographs inside. So I have both of those here with, with me today. I have the, the photo references as well as a color study. And now I'm gonna create a value study. And in this situation, my color study is very close to the way I wanna create the painting. However, oftentimes the color study, if done outside, is not exactly the way I want the composition. So I would use the value study in order to change the composition. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. Normally this thumbnail would be two by three inches, but for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to make it larger. Just find your uh, horizon line in there. And I use a, the fine tip of the black marker to get started. Just finding my, um, finding my drawing points, finding the road in here and the, the foreground. So I'm really concerning myself with line right now. Variety of line, getting diagonals in and horizontal lines in. And then I will work on the, bring this up a little bit. And then I will work on the, um, the block in of the values. So you really, um, to create a dynamic composition, you want to have a variety of line work. You want to have some nice diagonals, like these, these diagonals here that are moving the eye. Um, you want to have verticals. These tree shapes can create some nice verticals. And then you need some, some horizontal as well. I hope you enjoyed that quick tip. Happy painting.